guilty, y'all. Time to ride, baby. First of all, I never intended to be a ghostwriter for anybody with two parking seats. Besides all that, you know, the main thing that I'm known for is ghostwriting. And uh, a lot of people know who I am in the industry. You know, um, they won't show or you know, pay no attention to me, like, you know, put me out there like that because, you know, things that are secret in the industry, they like to keep them secret, you know what I mean? And to some, they can tell, they tell stories about a lot of drinkers and smokers. You know what I'm but um, first of all, I just like to say that uh, I was a ghostwriter for the Night of Belly album. Uh, I was a ghostwriter for Get Rich or Die Trying. I was a ghostwriter for Urban Legend, and uh, I was also I was also a ghostwriter for Life After Death. And uh, the songs that I actually did for the Night of Belly album. Was a blast for me. Uh, against all odds, crazy ghostwriter for um, Ten Crack Commandments, Nobody to Somebody Kill You, and uh, What's Be. And for Urban Legend, I was a ghostwriter for um, Rubber Band Man, ASAP, Motivation, and You Don't Know Me. And um, for um, Give It to Die Trying, I was a ghostwriter. For many men, um, 21 questions uh, in the club and uh, PIMP. Now, this, this is what I want to tell you. First of all, I never intended to be a ghostwriter for anybody with Tupac and Big. Uh, the people that use the lyrics uh, after that era, you know, being Big Sim TI, they if the act of piracy, you know, and you know, that's prevalent in the music industry.